Welcome to a new video tutorial about Lightning DMX Control. This tutorial covers how to use the scene module. For starters I create a blank scene, give it a name and after that I create a setting in the slider window. Then press the save channels to scene button. Using the same procedure I'm creating a few more scenes. With these scenes made, you can click the go button to start the first scene and move through your scenes. With the go to field you can jump to any scene. Check the number of the scene you want. By using the crossfade slider you can crossfade from the current to the next scene. There's also a reverse to move through your scenes backwards. This is the basic functionality of the scene module. If you want to copy scenes you can use the alt key and drag a scene to another position. Of course you can move scenes the same way but without the alt key pressed. In the second column is the fade time. You can put a time in seconds in there and crossfade automatically by using the go button. I start with scene 1 again and crossfade through the scenes with their corresponding fade times. This also works in reverse, the fade time is always towards the scene. Use the remove button to remove a scene. It's also possible to save the complete DMX output to a scene by using the corresponding button. Besides that, you can change a scene by selecting it and then click selected scenes to channels. After that you change your setting in the slider window and then click save channels to scene again. The selected scene is not the same as the viewed scene in the DMX output. This way you can change scenes without disturbing a rehearsal too much. The fourth column is note and does exactly that. You can use it to describe a cue for instance. It's possible to couple the controls in the scene module to a MIDI remote by right clicking that control and choose MIDI learn. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your attention and good luck with Lightning DMX Control.